Now we're going to talk about standard color schemes. A standard color scheme is a group of colors that go together well. It's important to know a few standard color schemes so that you can put together an outfit or decorate a room properly with things that will work together harmoniously. So let's get started. The first standard color scheme I'd like to talk about is achromatic. A means not, as in atypical, which means not typical, or asymmetrical, which means not symmetrical or not the same on both sides of a center vertical. Chromatic more or less refers to color, chroma. If you take a look at what we have above here, it is a grayscale that goes from zero, no shading, to 10 or 100% shading. Achromatic, when it's used in a painting, could use black, white, and gray. It could also use other neutrals, such as brown, tan, and colors or non-colors like that. You notice that I say non-colors because achromatics are not actually considered colors. This is Guernica by Pablo Picasso. It was done mid-20th century, and it was done as a protest over the bombing of a small town in Spain. When you look at it, you'll notice that it's made up of black, white, gray, browns, and tans. This, therefore, was done using an achromatic color scheme. Achromatic, once again, means that it's not color. It's made up of neutrals. As I've said before, we're not talking about colors here. We're talking about non-colors. Black, white, gray, brown, tan. The same kinds of things that Picasso used in this painting. Once again, this is an achromatic color scheme. When we limit colors, or in this case non-colors, it's called limiting our palette. We're limiting the number of colors that we're going to use, or in this case, the number of non-colors that we're going to use in our painting. Limited palettes are very important because they help us to create harmony within works of art. Please go on to watch videos about other types of standard color schemes that will help you to understand more about color theory.